All right, guys. So basically, um, using Ultimate Performance as my power plan, overclocking the Steam Deck by 35 watts. I'm using something for the resolution, and uh, I'm using DS4 Windows. That's for emulating. As you know, I do use the I use the DualSense controller. I use the DualSense controller to play games on my Steam Deck. I do have two Steam Decks, one's on Steam operating system. Uh, the other Steam Deck is actually on uh, Windows. The one I'm using right now uses Windows. Right, so the other one is on Steam operating system. Uh, let me just, uh, I don't know why they put all this stuff, you know, it, it would be easier if they put a skip all button, you know, like somewhere here. So if you wanted to go through one by one, fine. And then if you wanted to skip all, just click, you know. Because I want to get into the game. I don't want to see all this stuff. Right. So today they want us to achieve a double kill 10 times. Um, I don't know what this thing is. What's this? Complete a task and win an ultimate invader. It says get... E breeze uh, back here. What's how'd you get this thing? I mean, what is this? This is like 10 gold. I don't, I don't understand what that is. Okay, it says capture beacons got five out of 10. Win battles need to win one battle. Uh, participate in battles, so that's like six. I've already done three. Gain honor points in any category. Get, get uh, gain honor points uh, for top places by kills and damage dealt. Capture beacons, I got five left. Win battles, got one more battle to win. Destroy 25 enemies, uh, I've got about 13 enemies to destroy. And then it says earn 14 clan rank uh, points. Then it says uh, faster to compete, complete with clan mates. Destroy at least one enemy at a range of uh, up to 200 meters um, in each of three battles. So that 200 meters is like, um, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm using uh, two needles. I've got a Loki, I've got an Ultimate Spectra, and I've got an Angler. On the first um, neither, I've got two Spark MK2s, a Cruel Claw and a Sinister Claw. These claws are actually heat second missiles. So if the enemy is hiding behind cover, these missiles go over the cover and hit the enemy. Uh, what's the advantage of that? They hit second, so they're actually hitting the target. So they go over obstacles. That's the whole point of claw. Um, spark, these are energy weapons. Uh, they, you can cause a lot of damage to enemies that have um, energy shield. How can you tell energy shield? Because normally the robots got health at the top. I think it's like a green. Energy shield is yellow, isn't it? So spark breaks through the shield and then these claws uh, cause more damage. I'm using an immune amplifier, repair amplifier, nuclear amplifier. I think nuclear is like more damage. Uh, repair amplifier, obviously, healing is faster. And then immune is like when your robot's getting hit by those, um, you know, to stop your robot from moving or whatever, lockdown things. So it just reduces the amount of time. Uh, with this, neither. Uh, he's using, a, well, well, you know, I've got four blights. I've leveled them to level two. These are radiation weapons. They cause damage mainly to your, uh, I think, to the armor or the, I don't know, like the body of the robots and stuff. You know, radiation breaks down the armor, isn't it? Uh, repair amplifier that helps with uh, repair. So I'm still upgrading that one. This low key is using two claws, like I said, hit second missiles. Uh, blaze, uh, scavenger blaze. Blaze is actually a flamethrower, very good weapon. All right, you know what? I, I had actually I have I've got some modules here that I can actually give Loki. It's unfortunate that I I don't have I don't have one of those speed boost things, you know. I don't know if I can actually buy one. That's the thing. So let me let me check. Okay, so I can get a fortifier. I don't like Battleborn. Ah, look, I'm a kid, but that's four thousand gold. My God. Uh, that's a reactor, so that's 4,000 gold, that's a lot. Okay, uh, nitro unit, that's that's what I was talking about. That would be good for Loki, but look, 5,000 gold, that's that's way too much. 
Uh, Balancino is just 4,000 gold. That's that's still too much. Anti -co con uh, con anti control. So that's when like your robots can hit to freeze or lock down. That reduces the amount of time. But still, 5,000 gold is way too much. Last stand. I do not like last stand. But I'm just saying it's 5,000 gold. That's way too much. The cloaking unit is quite good. Uh, 5,000. That's like uh, stealth. Put your robot in stealth. Overdrive unit. I, I do, I've never used this overdrive. 5,000 gold. Uh, see, it's like you can actually buy buy them all the way to nuclear amplifier 5,000. But you see, the problem is the gold. The amount of gold they want is way too much. It's it's really up there. I mean, I wouldn't advise anyone to to actually get that. I mean, if you need those amplifier stuff, fine. But 5,000 gold, that's a lot. And you know, the reason why I'm saying it's a lot because you can actually upgrade your robots with gold. And you can you can buy skins with gold. You see. I bought most of the skins here, you see, like with gold. That's a thousand gold. I would rather buy skins for my robots than, than do that. So I've got this skin. Uh, I've got uh, this one, the blue one. That's the one I was using. I've got the other one. What's Where's the other one? Yeah, I've got this one as well. The, the, the I don't know if it's, it's just saying ardent, but it's like a black one. So I'm gonna use the rust one because it kind of it kind of fits. You see, look, it fits the the claws and it fits the blaze. It's like looks nice enough, isn't it? It look it it just looks dope. Wouldn't you agree? The claws are yellow and red. Blaze is red, and now my Loki is red. Anyway, um, Loki is a very good robot. Loki has stealth, so when he's running around on the fields, he cannot be targeted by robots or titans. Uh, all, the only robots and titans they can target him, they have to have this uh, this uh, quantum sensor. They need this. So if you want to target a uh, robot or titan yourself, you're going to definitely need this quantum sensor. Um, I'm just showing you because I've got quantum sensor. I've got titan accelerator that allows Indra to move faster. And that's maxed out level 25. Quantum sensor, you can um, attack any robot in stealth including titans and stuff you know those titans that fly up in the air and you can't target them quantum sensor will target that uh low keys as well you can you can target low keys uh cannibal reactor like i said onslaught is better but cannibal reactor is what i had last time i've leveled that to level 25 that's maxed out self fix unit is uh helps your titan heal uh so you know when it gets attacked it starts healing and that's maxed out level 25 i'm using two ever ra ever ra Evora. It's, it's like this. I think they're like the Vajras. I prefer the Vajras, but uh, I do like this. They cause quite a lot of damage. And then uh, Dazzler as well. Dazzler is like to blind uh, the enemies and stuff, the robots and titans. The Evero and the Vajras are exactly the same, in my opinion. It's just that I think these ones are overpowered. They're like shotgun. They spray out, isn't it? They spray out some bubble stuff, and then those hit the, those who hit the robots or the titans and they cause quite a lot of damage ultimate spectra i won this in that um you know that draw thing they had i don't know if it's still ongoing but they sometimes they do it the one with the with the uh, the the yellow triangle thing so that's how i got spectra i got this ultimate spectra uh, i think he's a level two i don't know if ultimate means mk i don't know if that's just the name they gave him um i got two ultimate o, o cans those are just the rockets I don't know if they've they've improved the rockets or not. I mean, I, I just I just say it as it is. Uh, Venom, that's like um, acid or something like dot damage. Uh, that's a weapon. Uh, hazard uh, is radiation as well. It's like blight. It's like uh, the other one because um, I've got the heavy one as well. Um, okay, so ultimate spectra is still so to me. It's, it's apparent that this guy is still being upgraded because look, you see. But look where it starts. It starts like eight million. It's, it's quite expensive to upgrade this guy, right? Uh, Angler, he's got um, Taja. Taja. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. The laser weapons. I've got three lights and one heavy. These are the, the lasers. I do like I do like this one for, for Angler because I feel like with Angler, because he can go invisible, isn't it? He goes into stealth. And when he comes out, like I said last time, he, goes, he uses his EMP. So when he uses the EMP, the, the robot or the Titan he's fighting with, is disabled for a few seconds and those few seconds do allow you to cause quite a lot of damage especially if you've got these lasers you know because i mean the the armor's down the the titan or the robot can't attack you 
for just a few seconds and then you've caused quite a lot of damage and then obviously if you still if you can, if you still got your power up you can run away <laughs> run away and you've got immune amplifier and repair amplifier i'm just checking so spectra i need to upgrade this one i've just put the nuclear amplifier with this dude uh he's got one repair amplifier and then he's got all three uh immune amplifier repair amplifier and nuclear amplifier like i said nuclear is for damage output repairs you know just improves the repair ability of your robot and then immune is like when you know when robots are trying to um use lockdown weapon lockdown is when your robot can't move so all that does is um immune i think you've got three then you'll be all good but obviously you can't use three can you i'm just wondering like i think i've got more modules but i think what happened is last time uh you know when you see i told you you see i have more uh, i think what happened is because i had to do something i had to do something uh that uh, required me to use uh oh my god okay i had to do something that required me to do something uh with this robot you know and uh well with different robots i think i was supposed to, to like i don't know if, if i was using it to like collect um beacons or something basically i've 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 got i've got other robots right and i've got my i've got two mars robots and i don't know how many typhoons I've got. I've got a lot of typhoons but basically i'm just saying uh i'm just checking them because you see the thing is like i said um I don't know where the modules are i think they're in the i've got two mods you see like erebus has got these two modules the immune and the the balance unit i do like erebus i i think i had an erebus last time the reason why i'm removing the modules guys is because obviously if, if i don't know where they are it's gonna be harder for me to get them you understand i, I mean they they're in the robots that i normally use to for fighting anyway that's my other mars robot um I'm not saying anything bad i'm just saying that if i do not remove uh look at these ones i got the medium weapon of laser but i just don't have one of them that's a pity right could have had four <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> it looks pretty cool with them as well but but what i'm saying is um i think i i i, I might have bought those i don't think you can win them i think you gotta buy them or something um i'm just saying the the fact is i use different robots and obviously if i'm using different robots i'm going to be uh, moving around the modules you know uh yeah yeah decay so there's blight there's decay and there's um hazard those are the radiation weapons uh are they good yes i i consider i think they're very good weapons even even bane is good but i don't like the the normal bane this one i don't like this bane the, the green one uh that's the normal one the one that I actually prefer, I'll just show you quickly if I can find it. It's on the anglers, I'm sure. It's on the anglers. Yeah, this one. This other bane. This one is the better one. If you can buy this cruel bane, get this one. The, it's, it fires out yellow. This is more powerful. It's every three seconds as well. It's, it's better than the green one. It, that's my own opinion. I, I know that some people might disagree. And say the green one is also good the green one is this one that's the original that's the original bane but to me i i think i do prefer the 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 yellow one it, it just it just looks like it does more damage i i, I don't know if, if if i'm right or wrong uh the stellar cerebus how do i get this robot well basically this one i think i'm pretty sure i bought this one i don't think you can win this i don't think either okay fine sometimes you can get it as a prize or in your um uh, from the chest and stuff, but I'm pretty sure that this one I bought. I'm just saying, I want to be truthful. I want to say the truth. I, I'm pretty sure that I bought this. Uh, that's the Cerebus, uh, Stellar Cerebus MK2 as well. Uh, he fires that uh, shot from his side. Uh, he can freeze the target and then obviously just start attacking it. Uh, this uh, tire tier is he can um, he's got the ability to use all four weapons or just two he's got the he's got two types of armor he's got the I think they call it the the hard the, the he's got a shell like shell armor like shell you know like he's got armor and then he's got a shield 
So it's okay. Sorry, it's got a physical shield and it's got the energy shield. So it's got two shields on it. So if ever you're doing like if if a war robot says use a, a robot that's got a energy shield, he has one. Uh, that's Tia, this robot Tia. Uh, he's got an energy shield and he's got the the, the outer shield. You know, because you see the front part of his the body there. That's a shield. So when he's not using those, um, like all four weapons together, I don't know. It's he's got the ability to use all four weapons at the same time. You, you you understand what I mean? So when he's using all four, obviously they're all firing at the same time. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous because if he's not using them, even if he's not using that ability, he's still firing four weapons. I think the difference is that the, it's it's an ability that he's got. Anyway, he can heal his squad. He's got a physical shield and he's got an energy shield. So if you interested by this uh it's a uh, i've got ancient t tier mk2 i bought that one uh the cryptic uh fen fen this one is a tank robot if you've ever heard on war robots tank robot this is what this guy is so if if you're ever wondering what what do they mean by tank uh the the meaning tank just means basically that it's harder to destroy this uh robot and I've got the, this pilot as well. She actually adds Fenrir has increased durability, but Aegis shield is deactivated. So he does have two shields on. He's got physical and he's got energy shield. Uh, but with the pilot that I'm using, uh, he only has his uh, physical shield. Uh, the shells, these shells do have physical shields. So does Revenant. Uh, I think Skyros might have a shield. I mean, the you know, because he turns into a ball, isn't it? I'm not sure if he does have one or not. I'm just saying, if, if ever they ask you to use robots with shields, with the, um, I don't know what they call it, like the outer shield or whatever, just, just a shield, because normally they'll, they'll say energy shield, isn't it? So I'm just saying that if they ask you to do that. R right, so I've released some of those things. So what I'm going to do basically is like give Loki the immune uh, amplifier. I'm gonna change this other one as well. Let's see how many I've got of these. Whew, I've got quite a lot, but the thing is, I don't know if I should give Loki the nuclear amplifiers. It's just that I feel like if I just give him, Loki is the one in stealth. So I'm I want this a uh, robot because it's it's uh, useful for collecting beacons. So you see, if I give him, if I give Loki three immune amplifiers, so the effects are slightly lessened. I would have given those to Spectra, but Spectra still needs to be upgraded. And uh, yeah. Right, so I've, I've still got modules on me. I've still got some modules, but uh, I mean, there's no way to put them. So I've got three modules. I've got three modules, uh, and then I've got this one, balance unit. Actually, you know what I want to do? I'm going to give uh, my meter all I'm going to just put nuclear amplifiers. Uh, why, why would I do that? Uh, for damage output. You know, damage output, basically. Uh, for this dude, I would have given him more. But like I said, you know, the, in this game, you need to have... I need to have more um, silver to upgrade my robots. It's not a problem, guys. It's, it's, just, it's just how it is. I mean, look, I've got, I've got 7,980 gold. So to me, that's still... A win-win situation. I got only thirty-three thousand silver. I know what you're thinking. Why not just buy more silver? Well, I could, but that's costly, you know. And I do, I do actually prefer to get gold than silver. I, I know what you're gonna think, but you need silver to upgrade, yes. But you also need gold because sometimes you can't wait four days to for an up, upgrade. You know, you want it to happen instantly, isn't it? You want it to be quick. So that is why I do prefer just to um, to get it over and done with. So I'm not I'm not saying to you guys that oh you know you, you can't do it without. I mean you can you can play games like now I'm gonna play games and obviously I'm gonna be able to get my silver. And from my silver I'll be able to get uh, to upgrade my robots. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's games going on right now on uh, Steam. I would have shown you on, on my Steam Deck, but my Steam Deck has an issue. I don't know what it is. 
Um, I mean, I can't actually load up some some of the stuff. Oh, look at that robot. Oh my god. Right, so I can't actually load up the store itself. Wow, that guy almost got me. I don't know what that is. What what robot is that? Come on, man. You know, the, the thing is, I, I like this game, but I just wish there was more uh, team teamwork. So I'm using Spark, I'm using Claw. Uh, I think that's a jump robot. I don't know, what's that? An invader. What robot is this one? Just some of these that I don't really like these robots, but I, I mean, I don't hate them. I, I used to use them. The Fafnir over there, that's the one that's flying. I, it used to be good. The best robot right now is this flying robot. The problem, oh my god, oh my god, oh, I lost my robot. The problem with the, with the with, I like to call it a lightning robot because of the way it kind of sparks up this, you know, can hit multiple targets. The problem I have with that robot is that when it lands on the ground, you know, when it lands on the ground, it's as it's so weak. It's very weak, guys. When that thing lands on the ground, it's very weak. It's very weak, that robot. I mean, it's, it's a nice robot to have, but what I'm saying is, oh my god, I lost my second neither. I mean, I'm losing them so quickly, that's why I'm wondering, like... You know what I should have done? I should have, I should have brought back my Mars robots. I'm actually going to swap them out now. I'll remove the modules that I've got, and then I'll put the Mars robots back in. Because at the end of the day, I need to be... Look at that, they've got a, they've got a robot, they've got a Titan, or, oh my god. Two Titans! We don't even have one Titan. You see, I'm firing my oak cans. Oh, wait a minute. Wow. Can't believe my eyes. Those oak cans are quite powerful. They're quite good. Oh, he's using his angle. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna hit me with his EMP. He's gonna cause, oh my gosh. <laughs> that didn't last long, did it? Right, I'm gonna use an angler. Oh my God, that's, that's, um, that is a Titan. I thought I thought that was a robot. It's actually a Titan. That's Luchin though. Gonna cause EMP shock now. Gonna use my mothership ability. It's jumped up in the air. The mothership thing is is causing damage to his hull. Right. I'm gonna use my EMP again. Can I steam? And hopefully cause a bit more damage. You see, he can't fire. Did you notice that? He lost the ability to fire his weapons. But obviously, I, I knew that in the end I would lose. I'm going to use my Titan, my Endra. I should be causing double kills, but like I said, with the robots that I have at that time, they are not good for double kills. I think those are more beacon type robots. You know, like I said, I was, I was doing something with them. And obviously... When you're doing something, you, you just, you know, you focus on what you're doing, isn't it? Oh my god, that, that robot, that robot can cause a bit of damage. Oh damn. That's mouse, you see? I'm going to force him. Look at that, look, look at that, he's, he's dead already. What did I say last time about that Titan? Didn't I say it was the worst Titan you can get? It's not, it's not, okay, listen. It looks fancy and everything, but at the end of the day, it, it goes down really quickly. Did you see that? He, he, he put shotguns on his Titan, right? He's trying to cause damage to me, which would have worked if he had a Luchindor or something. 
not not that uh, typical thing. We won the game. We got all the beacons as well. I think we got all the beacons. I'm not sure. Right. So that's the end of that match. Let's see what we got. This is one thing I don't get about this. Look at that. And then it's like, I want to play the game. Fine. There's another leader on. Would I, would I encourage people to buy neithers? Uh, I would say if, if you need a neither, fine, get get one. But uh, my opinion is, this is just me, my own opinion. I, I don't I don't really need three or four p uh, neithers, right? So in order for me to get double kills, guys, what I'm going to start doing is uh, swapping out those modules and getting myself my mouse robots. Because I, I feel like the mouse robots will cause more damage. There's nothing wrong with these robots. It's just, like, like I said... I, I do prefer, I need to do as much damage as possible, so, I mean, for double kills. So I'm going to bring back my mouse robot, uh, and the good thing about this one is I can put modules into it, you know. And you know what I think, I, I tried that last time, I tried to put like three new things, it just didn't, it didn't pan out for well for the neither. So, what I'm going to try and do the neither right so i don't know what to do with this because i do want to win matches i want to just swap these out because I, I don't i didn't see the point i mean listen i i put i put the modules in to see if there was going to be an effect it just didn't cause the effect i was thinking about right uh let's see i'll give him the armor kit just a simple armor kit then I'm going to give him a nuclear amplifier. I'm going to leave the immune amplifier. And I'm going to go back to this one. Give him the immune amplifier at the top. I'm just going to basically put it back the way I, I had it last time. The repair amplifier and then the nuclear amplifier. You see like that, three things. Because I, I just noticed it didn't, it didn't improve the situation, the fact that I gave it... Uh, all those um, other, th you know, mo um, modules. It like what I'm trying to say. It didn't give uh, an advantage. Do you understand what I mean? It there was no advantage at all. I don't know what I should do with the the Loki. Should I swap it? I'm just feeling like Loki is good. Yeah, I'm not trying to say anything bad about Loki, but I want you know what I want to swap this the Spectre. Spectre is good, guys. It's not a bad robot, but I I just I really I really need. To, I really need good robots right now. I, I need the best robots actually. And for the double kills, I need I need the best robots. So yeah, this angler might as well do the trick. Uh this angler is using the bane. Like I said, bane is quite good. It's a very good um weapon. The cruel bane. If you can buy the cruel bane, uh my opinion is go for it, buy it. The crew bane is uh yellow. I, I, uh, the normal pain is green. I think it's like causes dot damage, but I'm just saying, I feel like this, um, these are good. I don't think I've got another, the sneer, I think that's a freeze weapon. Sneers of, yeah, it's a freeze weapon. It freezes the target. Uh, these, uh, toxins are dot damage. So obviously throughout time, the, whatever you've targeted will suffer damage. Uh, so I've got the immune amplifier. Like I said, the effects will be less on your robot. Balance unit, that means all the weapons have, uh, and built-in weapons have more damage output and nuclear amplifiers for damage output, right? So kind of like I've got good robots now. I'm pretty sure I'll cause damage with these. With the Loki, I'm, I, I, might, I might swap the Loki out for my other mouse robot. It's just, um, I don't know, it's, it's just, I, I think, like, at the moment, I'm going to leave it as it is. Because you want to win matches. Listen, if you've got a Loki, Loki can run around on the field without, um, not, listen, not a lot of people have the quantum sense on the Titans. And if they don't have the quantum sense, they can't target your Loki. And then not a lot of robots uh, have um, the ability to see your Loki. You know what I mean? So I still have that bit of an advantage. 
over other players by using a low key, which I normally wouldn't have before, you know. So that that's why I'm saying that I feel like low key is just it's it's a good robot to have, especially if you're losing. Let's say even though um, let's say what you're meant to do has got nothing to do with winning the uh, getting beaten, but still, if you win matches, you're gaining you're gaining uh, what they call uh, honor points, you know. And it's good. It's just good for your rep, you know. It's good for you for your clang as well. You get you gain points. So whether or not you 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 cause damage or you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, the very fact that you're you're winning matches is good, isn't it? You know what I mean. I was looking at the trailer for Battlefield Three. Uh, sorry, not Battlefield, uh, for Modern Warfare 3. So with this meter, I've got Spark, and I've got um, Claw. Wow, I can't believe I already killed the robot. No, no, normally it takes a bit of time, you know. But you see the Spark, what the Spark is doing. It's attacking this robot. That robot's got... Um, a uh, shield on it energy shield oh my god oh my god i'm getting hit it's got a shield on it and you see because i i was able to uh, cause damage to the shield i was able to destroy the robot pretty early and pretty quickly i don't know why people use old robots you know i'm not saying anything bad about old robots but it's it's kind of like you know you're not you're not gonna gain much uh if you keep using old robots look if, if you put new weapons on your old robots fine you might you might gain something but uh i i don't i don't think it's a good uh, good combination right before they took me down i was able to use my mothership orion on them i still think orion is a very good uh mothership i'm gonna use my mk2 mars i'm pretty sure that's a yeah that's a low key you see what did i say you know, there's one way of targeting this guy. You see, if if I do this, you see, I'm I'm hitting him. I may not be able to target him, but I can definitely hit him. Come on, what's this guy doing? Oh, he doesn't he doesn't see that. I'm trying to hit that Loki. You see, just target it at a good uh, thingy. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna bother myself because that's gonna just take away from the from the game. I'm gonna drop this right here. I've dropped my remote assault. Then I'm gonna run in and try and help the guys out. I've got uh, on this mask. I'm using three. Um, what are these weapons called again? These weapons, I thought, the fainters, yeah. Uh, they're lockdown weapons. So if if I get a good target, you see, he can't move. You see the legs. The legs are going all yellow like. That meant like he couldn't move, isn't it? So that's exactly what the fainter does. It causes some damage uh, and stops it from um, the Titan from moving. Why I like remote assault like there is, oh my God, he's just hitting me. But normally, okay, usually, usually the the, the people getting hit by the by that would have targeted more the. You know, like trying to figure out what's going on. Right, so I'm using Bane on this dude. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You know what, if I can just get him to stand still, you know, look. Let me just get him to stand still and then use my mothership, you see? <laughs> I caused some damage to him. It's not a lot of damage, but look. If, he, if he's walking through it, he's, he's causing damage to himself. Right. So... I might be able to take him out. He's got good weapons, though. You see, I, I did cause quite a bit of damage to him. Oh my god, I've, I, I ran out of my ability. Oh my god, these guys have... They've taken all their things back. Oh my god, I can't believe this. No, you see, this is why I don't understand. Why do people move backwards, man? No, seriously. You see what I meant by they're using a low key. They're using a low key to, to win. 
I was like, why is he doing it like, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm being attacked by two titans. <laughs> Titans. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to sustain. To you see, he's attacking me with two titans. I'm not gonna be able to win. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, two titans are attacking me. You know what? This 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 calls for Loki. You see, this does call for a Loki. Cause I'm in stuff. I may be able to. If they don't, if they don't catch me in time. Oh my God, I'm just going to run to the end. You see, I, I didn't realize what they were doing. You see, the, the Loki could have, you see, they're trying to target me. They can't, they couldn't get me. <laughs> we lost anyway. But I'm just saying, it shocked me. I was like, what is going on here? You know, like, what's happening here? Because the Loki is always in stealth, and the Loki was actually, you see, that's why I said how they won the match. People were, were so focused on um, the fact that we were doing so well. Because I was like, what's going on? How come? No, I was wondering, like, what's happening? Like, how, how, did, how, how did we go from winning the match? We were, we were actually winning the match. We were, we were um, ahead of the other team. I was thinking, how did that happen from us being in front of the other team? Sorry, I need to check something. Uh, with the other, I've got a, another angler. I know you've probably seen two anglers, but I've got a third angler, you see? i got this angler. I just want to see the weapons I've got on this one. That's why I'm thinking, like, okay, the, the mission that I've got right now isn't about... Um, it's not entirely... It's not entirely about winning the match. Uh, the mission I've got right now is actually to uh, to get. Um, I have to get. I'm trying to remember. I have to get double kills. So that's why I I'm gonna swap my Loki for another angler. I don't. I didn't need to swap it for another angler, but the the fact, like I said, the what I am meant to be doing uh, is actually getting double kills. So, because I am following uh, how they set the, the matches. So if that makes sense to anybody that I'm just following how they want us to play the game. Uh, so I'm gonna use the neither mouse and three anglers. Now I know what you're thinking, is that gonna make it better? Well, not, not really, but it might bring my, my Titan out early. I would, I would have kept, like, okay, like right now, the Loki would have been very good because here, there's a lot of spaces I could have been hiding and getting those beacons. But, you know, like, like, I, like I keep saying, uh, the mission right now is not about getting beacons and stuff. It's nice to win a match, but it's not initially what I'm meant to be doing. Oh my God, this guy is attacking me. And this is the other, this is what I do not like about Skyros. I mean, I don't know how these people do it. They don't suffer any damage. I need to hide from him. I don't know what weapon, he's got those sound uh, vibration weapon type things that he's using. I mean, I've got stake weapons, but I've tried using those. I didn't like them. Okay, so he suffers damage from the, from the um, sparks. That's what I'm noticing. He's, oh, he's dead now. Wow. I am amazed. Oh my God, this guy is hitting me. And he's using an old robot. No, you know what I was attacking me? This dude, this guy. Uh, you know what, I realized I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> oh my God. You see, we destroyed three robots. That was nice. That's a Fenrir, look, a tank robot. He is going to take me out. Yeah, I knew it. No, you kind of know when you're fighting the robot, you know that he's going to take you out or not. So I'm going to use Mars. This Mars is an MK2. Wow, look at the robot this guy is using. I mean, it's an old robot, you know? It's like ancient robot. 
Um, I don't know what they call that. It's like a warrior type, isn't it? I mean, the the, the way it's built up. It's got that weird shield to it. That's the robot that took me out. You see, it's harder to kill. But look, I use Orion on it. And by the time he realizes that he's standing in the mothership, he suffered quite a bit of damage. Oh my god. Damn, can't believe that. Ah. I'm gonna use an angler. Hopefully. Okay, that's a mouse robot. Ah, damn, I got hooked, stuck there for a second. You see, this one's got Bane. You see, you look at the damage Bane does, the cruel Bane. You see that? Completely destroy that robot. If I was using the normal Bane, that would have taken longer. Look at the damage I'm doing to this dude. Look at that. You see what I mean? The cruel Bane does a lot of damage. Right, I'm going to use his ability. I don't know if I can reach him in time. There we go. Oh, that's a Fafnir. You know, Fafnir used to be really good. I mean, when they first came out. But now, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pilot a Fafnir. Look at that. You see, he's flying, and in the past, it was like, oh, you stay in stealth, and, you know, you, you do well, and all that stuff, but that's, that is just, um, it, that doesn't work now. I don't know, all these guys got fire in him. He's that um, Oi Jun thing, uh, robot. But look, when he touches the ground, he's weak again. Oh my god, he's using decay. I got hit by a titan, I'm pretty sure. That was a titan that got me. Right, so I'm not going to use the mothership yet. I mean my titan. I'm calling it a mothership. My titan. I'm going to use the titan yet, just yet. You see? With this, I was using the... Um, I think he's going to go for that beacon. Oh, there's a titan. Uh, with this one, I've got the two toxins. There's, those are exactly like the Bane. That's the same weapon. It's just that Bane is... Uh, the Bane that I've got is... Uh, look at the damage I'm causing to this dude. Like I said, Bane is a very good weapon. And they don't normally just give you the Bane. You have to either buy it or... I, I forgot how, you, how I got mine. I think I bought it. I'm pretty sure I bought the Bane. Uh, the cruel bane or those robot that came with it or i got it through the super chest there's one of two ways you can get cruel bane through the chest or um you buy it like it'll come with another robot and then you buy that robot and then obviously you get the cruel bane the the one i'm talking about is the one that's on my angle the, um, the one that's yellow like got that yellow uh color to it and when it fires it fires like dots they look like yellow dots. That's Bane. The green Bane is like more a spray, like an acid spray. I, I always say it's acid because of the way it looks when it's spraying out. And it does, uh, it causes a lot of um, um, damage to your hull, to your uh, body. I don't know what you call the, the robots. It causes a lot of damage to the robot's armor. So that's why I like it. I'm pretty sure if, if, you, if you knew what you were doing, oh my god, if you knew what you were doing, you could probably cause a lot of damage to these dudes. I mean, look, look at that, look at that spray. It's just, you see here, I'm fighting a, a titan, obviously. That, that was not going to be successful, but you know what, I'm going to use my Indra now. Um... Oh, wow. So he's fighting a titan. I didn't realize. Ah, damn. He destroyed our mothership. <laughs> I keep saying mothership. No, I'm, I'm forgetting, you know. Hey, did you, did you guys know that when you use your invisibility... Oh, my God, my God. God. Oh, my God. This guy was... He's really hitting me. It causes so much... Ah. <laughs> you see the damage that guy caused? Oh, my God. Actually, I could be like him because I do have the Evero, the Alpha. I've got the, uh, the uh, Evero, the bigger one. But the last time I used it, I didn't like it. Okay, I forgot. I still have a thingy. What do you call this? I still have an angler.
Use the mothership. I'm using the mothership. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to last. Look, two titans. How are you going to win? I just want to see what else they wanted me to do. Right, I got six left. The double kills. Um, still have to do some more missions. I mean, I like I like following these things too, you know. Kind of gives you something to do the game. 